every day can be different with the child. So you might have came in yesterday like, oh, this worked, and you know, the next day it doesn't. So I really feel like you have to be flexible, you have to be understanding, you have to be compassionate, and I say patient. My name is Daisha Leary. I live in Glendale Heights. I have two children. One is seven, and he's a boy. His name is Juwan, and then I have Janae, and she is one. There we go. So I took my retail out. <laughs> We're trying to get her off the binky. <laughs> I'm an RBT, so a registered behavioral technician. So I work with children with autism. And then I also worked in home daycares. It's really about them. So what makes them feel comfortable? What makes them feel safe? Every child is different. So and then like I said, consistency. If they see that you are being consistent with them they will respect you and they will respect boundaries. I feel like all kids need that. So I deal pretty well with the heavy stuff. And I also deal pretty well, like deal with um, the light, you know, enjoyment of it all. Like really getting to see their different stages and them develop. I think that's amazing. I worked in um, more recently, more currently a daycare. I worked at a safe children as a safe children specialist at Metropolitan Family Service. So I did counseling for domestic violence for children three to seventeen, um, and short, you know, crisis intervention, things like that. So I'm like all over when it comes to kids. <laughs> I also worked in a community church for after school programs with school agers. So I just love kids. I know that sounds cliche, but. They tell you the truth. Like you have to have thick skin and you have to get to really know them to really enjoy them, I feel like. I would love to get to meet more kids with my children being just with family and us and, you know, really get the experience of other children. <laughs> but I would like to meet more moms and, you know, get to know my community, build my community up and build theirs. So you mentioned having to bring your kids to childcare in order to work. And I wonder what you think about the idea of being able to watch someone else's kids and earn money while you're with your kids. You don't have to bring them anywhere else. They can be with moms. What do you think of that? I think that is pretty amazing. I know some people are hesitant, like, isn't that a lot? And I think like, no, not really. When you enjoy what you're doing and you think about the ratio anyway, when you're in daycares even, you might be left with five kids. And I think having that experience and multitasking and really getting to see them interact with children, I think that social part is so important for moms and children. And that is been my biggest struggle is having to drop my own kids off at child care while going to watch other people children and I look and I'm like wow like the development of a one-year-old I miss my daughter and I wish she can be at this activity with me and you know she gets to see what we're doing here at school <laughs> well right now I'm homeschooling my seven-year-old sorry Ray. and um me and dad do that and it's been actually pretty fun um him getting to go to the museums and we do little trips sometimes or we're learning currency so that's been fun like going to see him count the money out and actually pay for his own things there's always more need out there so we're just yeah. in the process of kind of pulling together the people who can provide the care and the people who need the care. And I am just so excited about your business. I don't even know you and I'm proud of you. Like being a business owner is a lot and you are happy about, that's great. <laughs> that is so great. Yeah. And it's people like you that make this work. Thank you, Dasha. Thank you so much, Diane. Have a good night. Yeah.